Wilson going to the body with one of those thunderous shots that he landed against Velarde in the last round. This is round three, scheduled for ten. Scotty Olsen in the red trunks. Jose Luis Velarde in the white. Velarde, 23 years old from Mexico. Turned pro in November of 86, won his first 14 fights. Since then, has had a losing record. Five and eight since that 14 and 0 start. Oh, good uppercut by Olsen. Snapped the head back. And when you saw Velarde against Carball, and even here, even though he's getting, you know, dominated to some degree, you can see the skills he has. You wonder how that record. You know, when you're fighting this uh, close inside, not too many jabs were thrown. Only nine jabs were thrown by those boxers in the last round. Everybody seems to throw back some arm punches while Olsen is the man setting himself and putting his body behind his punches. Scotty Olsen pressing this attack as he's been throughout the match, despite the fact that he's got a swollen left eye, maybe because of it, so he doesn't want those heads to be. Velarde was coming back a little bit, Olsen rocks him. The body work of Scotty Olsen in this match has been among the best I've seen from him and from anybody in the past couple of months. But give Velarde credit, I'll tell you something, he has taken some huge shots, he is punching back and punching back well. Wow. Heads have been banging together, Olsen. Olsen is ripping those shots, and, and Velarde remembers to come up and wait to take out the Fighters are taking turns, hitting the other with low blows. Well, they, they could have done this in a phone booth, huh? They did not need a, uh, ah, here's my cliche of the week. Let's not just remember phone booth. Right that one down. The Olsen also Buck is really, really working. Up, hung up, comes back with that short left hook. The number of punches landed him. to be phenomenal. Yeah, he is throwing so many. He is just... 40 punches landed already this round. Profile gives us an immediate response. They're here to serve. And the good left hook to the body. Marty has stayed right in front of Olsen, hasn't given him much movement at the end of round three. Yeah, really worked. Scotty Olsen with Richie Sandoval, his trainer. He's a deep best guy. Here's the right hand by Scotty Olsen. It grazed a little bit more than we thought, but still had an impact on Velarde and drove him back against the ropes. All three flyweight champions are partners, and it's difficult, it's been difficult to line up a championship fight for Scotty Olsen. Yeah, and as you look at Olsen, with Uncle Blanco, who just beat Dave McCauley's one day, are pushing to get to. Did Olsen land punches in the last round? How about this percent? 67%, 42 of 63. The numbers thrown by Velarde, but look, only landed 68. Right hand scores for Scotty Olsen. Let's see. And uh, Richie Sandoval, who uh, we heard in the court, who's done such a wonderful job with Scotty Olsen, is on with us now. And Richie, uh, Scotty's stay getting on the inside with Velarde and smothering. Was that where you wanted? Oh, we may or may not have a chair. Getting him uh, hooked up. Let's get all the signals with him. As you know, we uh, we have uh, a new 
innovation here at Outbreak Boxing, where we, where we, where, where we get to talk to uh, the trainer in the middle of a round. But this won't be one of those times. We'll do it soon again. Well, they've taken turns going to different sides of the ranks, perhaps to show the judges a different view each round. Now, here on this side, Velarde landing that left hook to the body. Which actually is a very good point. When you're laying in the ropes like that, one of the judges is going to have a tough time seeing it. Now they're at least they're laying on a different part of the universe. Blood has been coming from the mouth of Velarde since the second round. Just he's digging the body. See, he's getting as much leverage into those body shots as you could possibly want. And then the last one, not being blocked. Right hand. He just works it so well. He just keeps banging the body because you expect another body shot and then he comes upstairs. Tremendous pressure. Now there you see Blarty counter punch you all, Joe, but it's not enough to push the bulldog off. You better be ready for constant pressure when you face Scotty Olsen. Let me tell you, it takes something to get him out of a fight. Ramon Solis and Gil Andrew are hand him Good right by Olsen, yeah. If they couldn't get him out of there, if you let him stay in the bout with you, he'll get you. Still some low blows being done. Well, the arms coming down, Olsen continually looking for an opening in the body. And occasionally has been low. Marty just the, looks worn down. Well, and remember when they came in, look, and he pushes him right back against the ropes. They told us this morning, Richie Sandoval, Mom Strauss, Scotty Olsen, we don't know if this guy can, can, can fight backing up, but we'll find out. Well, there's nowhere else for him to back up to. No. He pushed him against the rope. That's as far as he can go. Olsen keeps banging away as he's done since the opening bell.